Believe it or not, I actually started doing this right here days after the last video was uploaded. What I'm doing is adding a light coat of filler primer over the entire helmet to get a good idea of how everything's looking. You can see some layer lines and gaps where pieces were glued together, but that's okay. Before starting the bodywork though, I need to strengthen it up. I mix up a batch of polyurethane resin, smooth cat 300 to be precise, and slosh it around in the helmet to coat the surfaces. I didn't have enough to coat the entire thing, but what I had was still enough to do its job. And this stuff cures pretty fast. You can see it going from looking like it's semi-transparent to solid white in just about 10 minutes. And then I forgot about the helmet for 7 months until I remembered it as you might have seen in the Mark 46 helmet build video where I find it cracked in half. Do I fix it now? No, I wait another 5 months before I do anything with it and when I do, it's in even worse shape. Due to sitting in the sun, the lower left side has come apart at the jaw as well as on the side. You can see from a downward angle that the pieces are coming to a peak instead of following the curvature of the rest of the helmet. There's still the crack in the back to take care of too, but before that, let's start tearing off the bad stuff. The back piece is glued back together and the replacement parts are sanded and glued back on too. So, reconstructive surgery is complete, but there's still some areas of issue. The left eye is looking crusty, the top part of the helmet is too forward on the front, causing a weird edge, there's a gap due to a shift in the printed part on the back side of the helmet, there's a seam running along the complete back as well as a noticeable gap toward the bottom, a gap on the jaw too. There's uneven side pieces along the bottom, even though the top of that piece is perfectly in line, so I don't know why it's like that. The mouthpiece is misaligned too, and the areas where there is support material are looking extremely nasty. I primed the new pieces because I have a weird thing about not wanting to apply body filler to the raw plastic and head out to the barn to leave it to dry, where I promptly let it sit for another month. And then I come back looking three years younger than when I left and start going to town on the bodywork stage. You can see that where there is white there are low spots so I know to keep sanding. Before I add any body filler to the outside, I scuff up the inside with a rotary tool and add in some Bondo glass to give it some strength where the new pieces bond with the old pieces. Now it's time for the body filler and after that a lot of sanding. Everything is sanded down now, however, there are still some low spots along the top of the helmet and along the back of the helmet. So more body filler is applied, and after that it is sanded down again to where everything looks good. One last thing before I call it a night is to cut off the recession around the mouth. I'll explain why in a later video. The next day, it's back to more body filler and more sanding.
Once everything is looking pretty good, I get everything set up for adding two heavy coats of filler primer. It's starting to look pretty good. The eyes aren't crusty, the forehead now blends in nicely as well as the back of the helmet. The seam on the back is gone as well as on the jaw. The side pieces are nice and level along the bottom, and now that the mouthpiece is gone completely I don't have to worry about it being misaligned, and all of the pieces where there was sport material are now sanded smooth. Of course there's still layer lines and some tiny seams here and there, but that will all be fixed easily with spot putty, more filler primer, and more sanding. For now though, it's looking pretty good. So yeah, this is a pretty good stopping point. I made a whole lot of progress in the helmet, fixing up all the issues, and like I said, all that's left really now is just the spot putting and sanding work. Nothing difficult, just lots of little tedious stuff. Also, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and finish this helmet before I do any more work on the Mark 42. I know the Mark 42 helmet series is my most popular series on my YouTube channel, but basically I haven't really finished a project in my entire life, so I actually want to finish one for once. So I'm going to let that be the back end helmet just because it's a whole lot simpler, there's no moving parts or anything. So I'm going to finish up this, then do the Mark 42, but hopefully that, that won't take too long. So, till next time, see you guys later.